Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next lesson in the Zoom 25T Cadet Series. This time we're going to take a look at the uh, SPPU-22-1 gun parts. The gun parts are part with two 23mm cannons in them. Um, they are fun to shoot, but they are borderline useless. Um, I would rather carry S8 Cum rockets instead of these. These are moderate effective against the infantry fighting vehicle APCs and everything below that. So uh, infantry, soft skin, light vehicles, uh, radars and um, SAMs. They are not effective against main battle tanks, uh, buildings and bunkers. Do not waste your time with these gun parts on those targets. There are two ways to use these gun parts. You can use them as a building cannon uh, by uh, just straight ahead dive at the target and use the very same um, techniques as with the building cannon. And yes, they are called gun parts, but I call them cannons because they are 20 mm and above. Therefore, I call them cannons. Or you can use them in another way where you lock a target uh, and lace the target and as you approach the target the barrels will automatically depress and follow the target down. The buttons you need for these uh, gun ports, cannon ports are cannon select the button and Ripple quantity SPPU select. You can also uh, use uh, target size gun pot elevation decrease, target size gun pot elevation increase. That is not uh, necessary. To use this cannon, go into add to ground mode, select the cannon, and if you take a look down here, in the lower left, the right selector here. When that uh, selector is on number one position, it means that you fire the building cannon. When the selector is at number two position, it means that you fire two uh, cannon parts, one from each wing. In number four, it means you fire two parts from each wing, in total four, and since you can only carry in total four, that means practically all. Do not use the VC se selector for using all gun parts. It will not work. So use number four for all gun parts. I'm a great admirer of short control burst, so I uh, will not use cutoff burst function. The cutoff burst select is a way to override the burst length. That means if I press the trigger now only a short burst will come out, a short control burst. If I turn off that, if you look over here on the left side, that Lever. If that lever is down, it means cutoff burst is down, and I will fire the cannon as long as I hold the trigger and I have information, um, um, ammunition. That means I can spend every single uh, projectile in a very short time without actually hitting anything. Therefore, a short controlled burst is the best. So I will turn on the cutoff burst. If you get confused of whether or not it is on, it is easy to remember that up, on, down, off, up, on. It is very easy to remember. If you used, as I said, the cannon in the static mode, just use them as the building cannon. There are no difference. Um, you can see you have selected cannon parts by the GNPD gun parts. If you want to use them on the uh, controlled or automatic uh, elevation 
um, mode, turn on your squall, slow down to a target, find your target and make sure it is not a, uh, a tank. Let's say something like, right now it is on the radar, I lock the radar or right now I'm uh, ground stabilized and not locked. As I approach the target, I will lock the target or the system will lock the target automatically. Now, all I have to do is fly toward the target. Um, the manual does not specify a altitude range, so let's say 150 meters around there. Um, since they are cannons, I assume that they work the same way as a building cannon. The maximum effective range um, depending on the target type, of course, is 3 kilometers. That is a pretty good uh, range. But, yeah, don't, uh, don't expect wonders, wonders at that uh, range. Right now we are 9.5 kilometers away. Our cannon parts are selected. In at the ground mode, gun part selected, cannon mode is on, and now I want to turn on the laser. That laser, you saw the gun parts jumped up. That means that now they are in automatic tracking mode. So right now I just have to fly toward the target. And please note now that, as you can see, the gun barrels cannot move side to side. You need to be completely aligned with the target. The gun barrels, barrels uh, or cannon barrels can only move up and down. See, they're trying to stay paper on that. So, first, first, first. See, the barrels are moving down by themselves. Wow. Lasers off, they go. We spent half of, of our ammunition there. But as you saw, the uh, automatic tracking mode um, automatically um, um, pointed the barrels down. That is a, actually a very cool feature. So. And the also pointing downwards now and you can move them up by yourself mainly. If you want to get out of automatic tracking mode just turn on squall Flaming Cliff and Eagle Dynamics. So we turn on Squall Mons more, and just for fun, we're gonna turn off uh, Burst Mode. So as long as I hold the trigger and I have ammunition, the gun will fire. Let's find a relative soft target. Roughly lined up. Ground stabilizing, and we have a soft target over here. There it is. Seven kilometers away. And yes, I know my target designator box is uh, rather large right now, but I do not care. This is on. They have the lock on the ground headlight, so that is fun. If that is not fun, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> but lacking is never fun, but yeah, that is 
several hundred projectiles being calculated uh, <laughs> within a few seconds. So, yeah, let's turn back and take a look. And now, if you want to go back to the building canal, just as I said, move the station selector back to um, number one position. Now we can make the target design at a box more. Put the races on. Races. Pull up. Pull up. Hmm. Yeah. But that is how you use the built-in. Uh, cannon parts or gun parts um, so they are not that effective but they are very, shoot, uh, very fun to shoot and uh, if the target is soft enough it will kill it thank you